good morning. Here we are on our way to a Spartan race, so we pulled off to a rest stop on the side of the highway. But it's daily blast time, daily blast of inspiration time, so we gotta uh, inspire ourselves. So we're on our way to uh, a Spartan race up in New Hampshire. So here we have, I'm connecting with Rebecca over here. Rebecca finished her daily routine, did her early morning prayers, did some yoga, some exercises. She gets her morning singing telegram, golden letters handed to her by the Royal Guard. She opens it up, and today's lesson, today's idea, and the way that she can prepare for a time with her father, with the king in the palace, it says, remember Tuscanini. Rebecca says, Tuscanini? Who's Tuscanini? So she thinks about stories from her childhood, and she remembers Tuscanini. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she remembers the famous story of Tuscanini. Tuscanini was a famous symphony orchestra conductor. And after he retired, he was sitting with a friend listening to a piece on the radio that he had conducted many, many times. And all of a sudden, he grabs his ears in the middle of the piece. He shrieks in pain, and he runs out of the room. His friend is very concerned. Oh my goodness, what's going on with Tuscanini? What's going on, my friend? Is he okay? He runs to chase after his friend and he sees him inside of his room, holding his ears, shaking his head, like he's in agony, like he's in pain. He says, Tuscanini, what, what, what do you need? What can I do? Can I call an ambulance? What can I, how can I help? What's going on? He looks at him with deep concern in his eyes and agony on his face. And he says, the fifth viol violinist in the sixth row was off. His friend is dumbfounded. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> You're in pain and agony like this because one violinist was off. This is us. Tuscanini is God. Tuscanini is our father, our parent, our beloved. Every one of us is a violinist in the symphony of the world, the orchestra of life. Each of us have a unique particular role that we can accomplish, that we're supposed to do, a note that we're supposed to play at the exact right moment. And it's our job to recognize that about ourselves as princes and princesses, as violinists, as tuba players, as saxophonists, as triangle players, percussionists, whatever our role is, it's our job to make sure that we're doing our role. Let's not sit and worry about the violinists next to us, the tuba player next to us. Let's worry about us. Let's make sure that we are being the best that we can be. Let's make sure we are setting up a, a routine, setting up goals for ourselves so we can be our best selves, so we can thrive, not just survive. Whether it's exercise, whether it's eating healthy, whether it's setting aside time for ourselves, setting up some sort of self-help type of program, finding good friends that will help us accomplish our goals in life so we can become our best selves. Whether it's studying a little bit of Torah, whether it's listening to a dating blast of inspiration, connecting with a rabbi or a rebbitzin, whatever it might be, what are the things that we're doing that can help us become our best selves? To be the best violinist player or chauffeur player in the world. The chauffeur today should remind us to look at ourselves, not at others. Look at the unique role that we have and what we can do to change the world. To make the symphony the harmony in the world be so stupendous and beautiful. It flows so wonderfully. And the music is so beautiful to our Father in Heaven, to our King, to His ears, and to the whole world around us. Let's make sure we're doing our part, doing our role. And then if we're doing that and we're focusing our energies that way, focusing that way, we can accomplish anything. Have a tremendous day. Let's blast it. Awesome day. Leave some comments. Share with your friends. Let's inspire the world to be the best violinists ever. Have an awesome day.